I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about laser drills, uh, laser bases, and fluid laser bases here in Industrial Foregoing. This is going to be for Minecraft 1.21. However, this mod has not changed much in the last sort of five, six, ten years. Um, and this tutorial will be appropriate for generally all versions. So this is the general kind of setup. This is a, a mining laser, and you're also going to use it to get your ether gas. I'm going to cover ether gas in a separate tutorial. I will also do a complete tutorial on my channel for industrial foregoing. So first thing first, let's set this up from fresh, shall we? So we've got our ore laser base. You can also have a fluid laser base. They basically work the same way. If we go into the ore laser base, let's have a look at it. We have the orange part, which is our output. Orange for orange, blue for blue. Output, if we click that, you can see, you know, right, um, do we want it disabled, enabled, push or pull? If we put it to push, for example, on the right hand side, and I get a, a logistical cable from mechanism, and then get a chest. What you're now going to see is that when items go into the output, um, they will be pushed out the right hand side and into the chest, of course. The laser lens is uh, this left side. And this is where we can put something called, well, you guessed it, a laser lens. So if we look at the word lens in JEI, you can see I've got a lot of different colors here. If I press U on white laser lens, you can see that you can dye them with different dyes to make them the different colors. And if we click on laser drill items at the top here, you get this screen come up, which may look a little confusing. So if we put a white laser lens in our laser drill, we can get never quartz or raw iridium. Now the weight here is basically your rarity. And you can see that the min and the max Y level is the depth at which we can mine this ore. We also have a biome requirement. So for instance, if we want to get never quartz ore, we do need to be in the never and we cannot get it, uh, there's none blacklisted, okay. So if I actually press next rarity information, you can see that you can actually mine it from zero to 255, but it's gonna be um, kind of a lot more, kind of a lot more difficult. Um, I would just go by the first page until that, if that gets confusing. Um, and the way we can actually do this, if I go into my industrial foregoing manual and view entry, you can see here, laser lenses increase the weight of a produced ore. So the higher the weight, the more we're going to get of it. What that means is, if I go into my ore laser base, and let's say I want that ore that we just looked at, I can add all of these white lasers lenses into this one here. And the more you put in of these, the higher the chance we're going to get that item. It's not guaranteed... Uh, which is annoying. It, it, it's kind of like a bit of a filter, um, but it isn't a complete filter. It, it's it's like I said, it's just a higher chance to get those items. On the right-hand side, we can add um, upgrades called add-ons now and progress. Every time it gets to 100, it will mine a new ore. So how do we get that progress? Well, that's when we need laser drills. So if I place this laser drill here, you can see the black hole is facing the machine and some air is coming out. If I click on the laser drill um, and I press show working area, you can see it's looking for a laser base in this area. So I can put them sort of here, 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 make sure this one can still uh, see. That one is not going to um, be able to, to get it. So what you can do is you can place them. You can see here, if I place it um, from above, it's going to place it like really annoyingly like this. You do have to kind of stand um, where you're facing to place it on the same Y level. So if I want to face it here, I can face it like that. But if I face it like that, it's going to be facing the wrong way. So I can do it like this. And I could put, see, I went too high and it's now facing like that. It's a bit annoying like that. And you can actually put two... Um, I'm just going to get rid of this. Just make it pretty. When I do my thumbnail. <laughs> and you can see these are all going in here. So these are the parts we need to actually power. You can power um, these items. These are the laser drills, remember. You don't need to power the actual um, center one. So you don't need to actually power the laser base, for example. 
And I'm just going to stick a creative energy cube on there to get them all powered. You can also upgrade these with some add-ons, like a uh, speed add-on. You can see whenever the green bar hits the bottom, that's when it's going to send some energy. If I put that speed add-on in, look how much quicker that is now um, working. And in here, when this progress bar gets to 100, it is then going to mine or try and mine um, the next item. And you can see here we've got nothing, and the depth will matter. So if I put it at depth 30, rather than minus 60 or whatever it was, there we go. We got some lead. Now, again, the white laser lens we put in here means we can get in the never, or it says whitelisted biomes any, in the never so any biomes in the never and then also is iridium here at a minimum of five y level and a maximum of 68 now the higher the weight the higher the rarity remember so you can see here the weight of iridium is an eight and then if i look at raw lead here and go to laser drill items you can see the weight is one so we're much more likely to be getting raw lead than we are iridium but these white laser lenses will help us up um, our chances of getting that iridium but it is not guaranteed as you can see we are getting lots of different ores here based on the biome and dimension that we are in the same way you can work this is with the um the fluid laser base you can see there's a fluid um here and let's look at lava if i put lava um in from jei and click fluid laser base you can see if i use an orange laser lens and if we do look at the laser base for fluids you can see if you put an orange one in there the only thing you're going to get is lava so if you want to make an, a lava farm you can actually do that by putting an orange laser lens into your laser drill fluid um in the never see it says whitelisted biomes the never in any biome, so put this machine, any biome in the never, with an orange laser lens in, and you're pretty much going to be getting um, lava in your fluid laser base here. And you just put around it the laser drills just like we are um, here, but it's a fluid one rather than an item one. And that, everyone, is everything you pretty much need to know about uh, laser drills in Industrial Foregoing. Thank you so much for watching. I do really hope this was helpful for you. If there are any other mods that I haven't done, I would love it if you could comment down below if they are a modern version or an old version of mod. It doesn't matter. If you can't find good or up-to-date tutorials on them, I do like doing mods end-to-end. I do also do other games. I do all the latest releasing games. And what that means is you will need to go onto my channel and go to Home... And you can see here there is a shelf for Minecraft. And this has all the different Minecraft mods I have done uh, in completion there for you. So that you don't basically get lost on my um, very big channel of now 1.4 thousand videos. So thanks for watching and check out the playlist on screen to see all of the other videos for this mod. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss all of the new upcoming um, mod tutorials.